Hey guys, it's May May, and I am at the beach on a youth camp trip. And the reason that is significant is because this has been quite a challenge. So I'm at youth camp. I'm not a teacher this year. I'm actually here to make meals for the kids. So I have some downtime in between, and that's when I'm doing some crafting, which is kind of fun for me because I never get to do that. So I brought a stash of stuff with me, and I will show you on Insta Stories uh, what I brought with me. So go check that out over there. And here is a little punch art expectant mama. Now here's the deal. Someone messaged me and asked me if I would show how to do this. Well, I had never seen it because I don't see everything on the internet. So I went and looked on Pinterest and lo and behold, there she was. A little punch art expecting mama. And this is the girl version. And today we're going to make the boy version. And I literally grabbed a bunch of stuff out of my craft room, a bunch of punches, and then I challenged myself to be able to do it with what I brought and it worked. So let me show you what you're going to need to make this happen. So I'm gonna leave the card in the scene over here so you can see what I'm working with, but I wanna show you each individual punch that I'm using to make this happen. So for her hat, I'm using a one inch circle punch and I'm using a two by one and three eighths inch oval punch. And I actually got this one from Stampin' Up. I've had it in my stash. A lot of this is just gonna be stashed up that I have as far as punches are concerned. I collect punches like crazy, so I have a lot. So there's the hat, those two. For her head, one inch circle punch. For her hair, a one inch circle punch. And for her neck and legs, I'm using the word window punch just to keep this punch art, but I totally wouldn't do this in real life. In real life, I would just cut, like I'm not in real life, I would just cut strips. You don't have to have it, but to keep it punch art, I'm trying to use punches, so there you go. It's a tight screen here, but I think you can see this. For the diaper bag, I'm using a two inch scallop circle and I'm going to be using a one and a half inch scallop and a one inch circle punch with this piece. But I have to show you how to make that happen. So I left it as just a little scrap piece of paper to do that. I think this is my favorite part and I can see me using this on lots of other projects like little purses, super cute. For her legs, two scallop circle punches. Now, in, and they're two inch, by the way. In the punch art I saw on Pinterest, a lot of people used a tab, I think it's a tab punch from Stampin' Up. I can't remember the exact name from it, but it's perfect for that. But since I didn't have it, I'm just making do. Two inch circle punch. For her feet, flowers. I know, crazy, right? This is the Martha Stewart Hydrangea Punch, I believe is the name of this one. Probably discontinued a lot of her stuff is, but listen, I just pulled something out of my stash and was like, can I make feet out of that? We'll see. So you probably have something in your stash. You can make this happen, but these are little flower punches. And for her hand, a heart. I'm stretching because I didn't have what I wanted to have to make her hand, but this is working just fine. For her arm, a two inch by one and three, three eighths inch oval punch. And it's still just a scrap of paper because I got to do a little fancy footwork and show you how that happens to get her little arm curve. But that's what we're using. The only other punch I used was this scalloped scallop border punch. I used this because I wanted the bottom of her little shirt to be scallopy and not just kind of flat. So I just used this along the bottom. Totally not needed, but if you want to use it, there it is. Let's make this girl. Enough of that. So that was a lot of a do, but let's get this thing started. Let's start with her hat. I'm just gonna work top to bottom on the little punch girl. Here's what I did. That's my one inch circle punch. This is my oval. I'm gonna fold this oval in half and get myself a center line. You just need it to be able to see to cut it out. And I'm gonna take my scissors and just cut up that line. And this becomes the brim of my hat. Now, you have an extra, so you could make two of these if you wanted. I'm gonna put this one aside for later. But then this little guy just gets glued right here. I'm gonna go ahead and glue it on because it doesn't slow me down at all to do that. So I'm gonna add a little glue here. And then, here's the trick. Put the pattern where you want. I want some of those stars at the top. And then place this on your work surface standing up and tap the circle so that they're even at the bottom. That's how you get your little hat to look right. You're just lining that circle up at the bottom and just eyeball center that guy in the middle and that's your hat. Now I'm not prepared, like I said, I'm at the beach. I would totally ink every piece of this. I think it would be adorable if it was inked. So if you have your inkers with you or anything or if you're in your own craft room, ink that up, it'll be cute. There you go, hat. We're using the one inch circle punch for her head. We're also using it for her hair, but I wanna show you something. This is so much easier than punching the circle first and then trying to make it happen. Take your one inch circle punch and a scrap of paper and come in here and just cut like a half or almost half of that out. See that little like moon shape? And you don't need that. We're going to work with that little crescent shape that we created and our punch. Now we're going to put this back into our punch. And I want you to think 
moon. You're kind of making a shape like a moon. If you can see how that looks, I'm going to punch that and leave it in my hand. See how that looks like the moon? We're going to make a nice little bob haircut right there using that little technique. So here's her little face. And this little guy is going to get mounted like this. But what I find to be super cute is to have the bottom of that moon drop under her head because that's how our hair would do. It wouldn't be lined up perfectly. So let's glue this on just like so. And then I'm just gonna let this little hair drop down just a little bit. And don't worry about how weird this looks right now. The hat covers a multitude of sins, which is actually true in everyday life. Now let's do, we're working our way down. Let's do her neck and her feet. This is that word window punch, which I told you, you don't have to have for this because I'm really gonna cut some strips out of this and change it up. So the first thing I'm gonna do is make this a little more narrow because it's a little too wide for me. So there's the first strip I don't need. This is why I say just use a strip of paper in your trimmer. Okay. I'm gonna need her little neck. I'm gonna cut a piece about just shy of half an inch long. That's gonna be her neck, okay? I really don't care about the curve, none of that. We're just gonna use that straight portion. For her feet, I don't want her to have chubby, uh, expectant mama ankles. You might want her to, but I'm gonna trim that down even a little bit more. And then I'm gonna cut this in half, and this is gonna be, and I say feet, these are gonna be her little ankles that show in her little short, pants aren't they cute neck ankles okay super easy again you can totally get that from your just paper trimmer the hardest part for me in my opinion is the arm and it's because you have to just kind of use your discretion and just eyeball this here's what you do take that scrap of paper and your um oval punch okay put this in and i'm kind of doing it across, oh, I'm on the screen. I'm kind of doing it across the punch like that. Imagine this is the shoulder right here, and I'm just gonna kind of angle punch that. Don't need this piece, I can put it aside. What we're looking for is that angle. It's almost like a half heart. So if you had a heart punch, you probably could make this work that way as well. Now I'm gonna put this back in, and this is where I'm going to cut her actual arm and shoulder out. And what I'm doing is kind of giving myself a thin a thin spot up here, kind of thin down here, and I want that thickness to be there in her arm, okay? So I'm gonna punch that, and this is now her arm. And I can see how you could totally get that from a heart. So if you don't have this oval punch, do it that way. And you can make the arm as thick or as thin as you want. This one's a little bit different than the last one, but that's okay, they're always gonna be that way. Now for my favorite part, the purse. I think this is adorable and so easy. This is a two inch scallop circle punch. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put two scallops at the top, okay? Let me see if the backside, this might be easier to see. Maybe without the pattern, let's do it this way. So I want two scallops at the top. Those are there. Those two scallops I'm going to kind of isolate in my brain. So from those two scallops at the top, I wanna cut one, two, three, four of them away. So I'm gonna go from the fourth one to the side of those two at the top and slice that off. I'll lay this down where you can see it too, so you can see what I'm doing. Then I'm gonna do the same thing. One, two, I want those two, I'm gonna cut four away. One, two, three, four, okay? So at an angle, just like so, I'm cutting those two away. Let me lay this down so you can see it. We just cut those two away. Does anybody else see the angel right there? Totally cute, we can do that too. All right, I don't need these two pieces, so I'm gonna pull them away, okay? What I do need is to fold this top down just about that much. I don't really know. This is your purse or your diaper bag. You can do what you want. But when you fold this down, look what happens. You end up getting like a little two-toned diaper bag purse. It is so cute. I did not have any fancy, fancy punches with me. I did have this, so I had to make it work. Let me show you what I did because I think it was really cute. You can glue that piece down, but I did something different. I wanted some dimension. So I took and cut across that line just like so, okay? And I didn't do a very good job on that one, so let me trim that down just a tiny bit. All right, then I took this piece and I popped it up with some foam. So get me a little bit of foam here. Yes, I brought Scotty with me. You know what, that's gonna be one of those things I just travel with. Now, if you want the pattern side out, when you put the little foam on the back of this little guy, it's really cute if you just want your bag to be patterned because it gives you some dimension and you can really see that little pocket. And I think that's super cute. I'm gonna go that way. But you could totally do it on the other side and have a two-toned bag if you'd like. Then you just stick this down to the top of your bag and voila, we have a little flap on our 
purse or diaper bag. Now for the handle, which is really super cute. We're gonna go back to our one and a half inch scallop punch and our one inch circle punch. This guy's getting a lot of use in this one. I'm gonna take this and put it about, um, not three quarters of the way in, but just more than a half. You see that just more than a half, but not three fourths of the way. And we'll punch that out. Don't need this little guy. What I need is this, because this is where we're gonna make our strap, okay? So using my one and a half inch scallop, which honestly doesn't have to be the scallop, it just needs to be something a little bigger than your one inch punch. I'm gonna kind of halo that. You see how I'm kind of just lining that up above it just a little bit to give myself the look of a handle? Okay, I'll punch that out, woo, and lose it. So there's what we end up with. It is not perfect because it hangs over a little bit. So I wanna show you what I did to correct that. From this corner, two scallops I cut away. So I just slice those two scallops, all right? And that's probably hard for you to see, but that's what we did, there we go, okay? So I don't need that little piece. And then the same thing from this side, from this corner, I'm gonna slice off two scallops. So this gives you that feel of that little wooden handle and I just glued that right to the back of the little purse and boom, it's done. So that will be our diaper bag. So a dot of glue on two sides, then our little handle. And I'm just gonna lay that on and make sure the glue gets caught. So I've just glued this to the back of the little diaper bag. It's super cute. And that becomes our little purse or diaper bag. Couldn't you use this on a lot of cards? I think so. All right, next. Her body, oval punch, and we'll fold it in half. If you were making her shirt or her body and her hat to match, you could use the oval you did earlier. I didn't want them to match. I wanted to have a different pattern for her shirt versus her hat. But if I didn't, I could totally use the other half of the hat um, for this part. Okay, so now I needed half of an oval. We got it, all right? I don't need it to be this long, so I'm just gonna snip off the bottom. Doesn't really matter where, just about a quarter of the way up. This is going to be her body now, or her belly, okay? I'm going to just make a slice back here in the back where I'm cutting about a quarter of an inch off to make this her back, all right? So it's nice and flat, that becomes her back. But I wanted the bottom scallop. Remember how I told you that? So I'm taking my scallop, scallop circle punch. Let me turn this over. And what I did was I just pushed this in and just punched across the bottom. Doesn't have to be perfect. We're just making a little frilly edge of her shirt. Isn't that cute? Okay, now what we do is we glue these guys together. Little glue on the back, on the flat side of her back, okay? You're gonna take that little oval and line that back up but then I want you to turn it around and decide how much above her belly you want, okay? That's probably enough. You don't have to have too much above her belly to give the look of her little pregnant tummy right there, okay? So that's how you make the tummy. For her legs, two inch scallop circle punch, all right? If you have another punch that would make this easier, do it that way, but this is what I had with me. So I'm gonna isolate two scallops at the bottom and one scallop at the top, all right? And here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go beside one scallop and I'm going to slice in to that top one scallop. Don't need this guy. Then I'm gonna hold this in my hand this way and do the same thing. I'm isolating two scallops at the bottom and I'm gonna to come to the top and I'm kind of doing an angle, like a curve cut because I want her pants to kind of have a little curve and that becomes one leg, all right? Same thing here, I love punch art. It's like so fun to look for something other than what you see in these punches, I love it. I'm doing that little angle cut to that top scallop, and that becomes our legs. You may not like the little frilly bottom, I thought it was cute, so if you don't care for that, just use a punch that doesn't give you that, just a regular circle punch, but I like also having the scallops to help me line it up. So there's her legs, or her, yeah, her little pants. Let's do her shoes, which are the hardest. So this is two of the hydrangea punches. I'm gonna stack them up on top of each other the way that they go, which is a little harder than I thought. Let's get them lined up. Okay, then I'm gonna pick one of these to be a shoe. I kind of like this one, and I kind of like this one. Either one of these ends will work. I think I'm gonna go back to this one. Okay, so one petal. Here's what I have to do, and this gets a little hairy, but it's not hard. On the edge of this petal, I wanna create a high heel right here. So I'm gonna slice up to the center of the flower, just on the edge of that petal, okay? 
I'm gonna bring that where you can hopefully see that. See how I just snipped right there? That's the heel of the shoe, okay? Then on this side, because I want my shoes to match, I'm gonna do this at the same time, I'm gonna come to this corner of the pedal and I wanna make a cut that goes at an, a curve to the top, to that top slice, okay? So I'm gonna curve this and this is what is giving me a shoe shape. You kind of have to look at this. You have to just kind of eyeball it, all right? Look at this, two little high heel shoes. Now, no expecting mama in her right mind is wearing heels that high, but how cute are those, right? So that's how I got my shoes. Look at your punches and just make it happen. You can do it. You can figure that out with what you've got laying around. All right, the last thing for her is her hand. This is just a little heart punch. I'm gonna go from that center notch and I'm gonna just slice a piece off and I'll lay it down so you can see it with it that's kind of a little angle at the top where I sliced it this is gonna be your hand preferably I would use just a little circle punch or something I think that'd be super cute but I have this and that's what I did so let's assemble our little mom here's her head and hair her hat glue on the back of the hat like so and then I like this to come down kind of low on her head but not so low that any of the workings of her head and hair are showing above the hat. I like it to be about like that. I think that's super cute, okay? So there is her hat and head. Now let's put her little neck on. I'm just going to put a little glue just like this. And what I thought was cute with her neck was to have it at an angle. See how her little chin is kind of angled like that? In the Pinterest pictures I saw, they had her kind of looking down. I think that's cute. It kind of makes more sense that her eyes are hidden because she's kind of looking down, avoiding the sun. So that is her little neck. Now let's attach her tummy and her body. I just attached them on the neck just like that. Pick the spot you want it to go and let it go there. This is your little girl. You can do whatever you want with her, okay? So you can put her head straight, crooked, whatever you want, whatever you need for your card even. So that is her top portion. Now for her arm, here's what you do. <laughs> this little arm gets glued here and it goes to the edge of her tummy. Now see that excess that's hanging over right there? I don't need it. So while I'm here, I'm just gonna take my scissors and snip that away. It's really hard to get it perfect until you lay it here because of the way we punched it with the punches. So you just have to snip a little bit off. I'm gonna put a little glue at the top, but I'm not gluing her hand down yet and I'll show you why. So I'll put that little glue down and stick her arm, her little shoulder at her shirt. How stinking cute is this little girl? People are brilliant. Whoever came up with this is brilliant. I don't know who did it, but it's so cute. I just copied it, so there we go. This is her purse, right? I want her little hand to go into her purse strap. Okay, so I'm gonna run that up her arm and have her little um, hand coming through it, like actually holding the purse, all right? So that's why I didn't glue her hand down yet, but now I can, or at least her wrist. Her hand goes on in a few minutes. So I'm gonna glue her little wrist down. Got her little shoulder glued down. And I need to come under here, under this handle, and glue it. So I'm just using some glue here behind the handle. There we go and that will be fine. When I put her on my card, I'm gonna use foam squares behind it, so I don't really have to glue this guy down too awful much. Now let's do her little legs. Here's what I did for those. Two little legs, glue at the top of one, okay? Then this guy. I liked one a little higher than the other, but not too much, just a little bit, because she's taking a step the way she's posed. So we got them glued together. Now I'm gonna put some glue at the top, and this is an important step. Make sure you don't make her too tall for whatever card you're putting her on. So for her legs, I'm gonna stick them up a little bit higher than you would think they should go because I wanna save room for her feet and not make her too tall for a card. So you might need to lay your card next to it so you can kind of keep up. I've got just enough room for her feet there. Let's do feet, they're easy. So a dot of glue on this leg that we cut, this little strip, and I liked it coming out of the little scallop point because it made that little point show. You can see how I've done it right there in the middle of that point. And then let's do another one, little dot. Stick that under there. And don't worry if your legs are too long, you can trim them from the bottoms of the shoes once you get the shoes on. So a dot of glue on this one. And I don't want too much ankle showing, so I'm gonna adjust this and then if I need to trim underneath, I can. That's doing fine. So there's her first little heel she's kicking up. And then her second one. 
Now, you can cut the bottoms of your shoes too and make them flat. So if your heel is too long, you can totally adjust that. This little girl is whatever you need her to be for your card. Look how cute she is. Super easy, super cute. And listen, you just have to think outside the box. You have to look at your punches and see something that you don't, that's not there. And fortunately, if you go to Pinterest and you look up punch art, hundreds of artists have already done the work for you. I mean, very well, this one's done on Pinterest. There are so many out there that you can go follow and copy and just have a fun time doing it. Oh, we forgot her hand. You're probably screaming at me. Let me put it on. So her little piece of the heart is gonna be her hand. And all I do is just put it here at the bottom. Just kind of act like she's holding her little tummy because you know, her little tummy needs to be held and caressed. Super cute, why does this make me talk baby talk? I don't know, there we go. She's done and ready for her baby shower. That's what I imagine she's going to, it's her baby shower. This stamp set, it is the one from Ranger's Letterit collection. Um, and I will link that for you guys so you can pick that up if you need a stamp set that's really good. It is a silicone set. So it is not as firm as a photopolymer. So when you when you stamp this, you need to be real careful not to squish too much. Just place it down nice and firm, get a good little tiny wiggle, but don't squish because it can get a halo if you do that. But that is it, that's the whole card, very simple. It's just an A2 size card base, strip of cardstock behind her and one little punt, I mean one little stamp. There you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for the challenge. It was super fun to try something I had not done before. Didn't even know she existed. So there you go. Have a great day, guys. If you do this, you know I want to see it over on my customer gallery on our website at maymaymadeit.com. Share with us your photos. We love when you do that on the customer gallery because everyone can see them. They don't have to have a special social media for that. Hey, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you again on Thursday. I think it's Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. Talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.